Praise the Lord, everyone, and thank you for joining me for an episode of God Speaks. So today, um, I'm going to be talking about dreams. Um, yeah, so before we get into it, let's start with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask right now, Father God, that you would allow my words to align with yours, Lord. I pray, God, that you would give divine wisdom, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I just pray, Father God, that your presence, your peace, Father God, would hit each one, Lord. I pray, God, for those who have the gifts, Father God, those who hold the office, Father God, those who are um, seeking, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that this would bring clarity, revelation, and understanding in Jesus Christ name I pray amen and amen praise the Lord everyone happy Friday we made it y'all we made it through um, a good week praise the Lord um, so one of the things that I want to talk to you guys about is dreams and um, God just kind of laid it upon my heart a lot of times uh, unless he tells me the day before I have no idea what we're going to talk about on here but today kind of um, hopefully that's not too loud for you guys, but he encouraged me to talk about dreams and a lot of people have been having dreams and Dreams have interpretations to them if you can remember even if you can only remember a portion of it Pay attention to the dreams that you are having write them down journal them I cannot stress that I, again. I try to keep the video short. So I'm gonna just say it a hundred times This is one of those things. I want to really really express write them down I don't care if they seem crazy. I don't care if they seem foolish. I, it doesn't matter. They have meaning. So let's give, um, I want to give a, cute, a few quick references of, you know, dreams having meaning. So, um, like how I gave the testimony the other day, I don't know if it was this past Tuesday testimony or the previous one about how I knew the three sidewalk squares represented days. Dreams have a lot of meaning. Sometimes you'll have dreams of giving birth to a child. It may not necessarily mean giving birth to a child. It can mean starting a business, starting a ministry, starting a book. It's something that you're getting ready to start, something that you're getting ready to birth out of you. Um, a lot of times um, your feet being that, um, under attack, such as like maybe an animal trying to come up against your uh, feet. It could be them coming up against, you know, um, whatever you have going on in your life whether it's school ministry it's like these a lot of times god gives dreams their warnings and even in the bible um there was always interpretation to the dreams and then god would give the dreams and a lot of times people dismiss and say that was just really weird or you'll tell it to someone who may not necessarily have the gift of interpretation but dreams are very very important it's so important that you write them down because again a lot of times they're warning a lot of times they're even encouragement to let you know that hey don't give up i said this i'm going to bring it to fruition so um you know and even with uh, visions, I, I encourage you to write those down too. Now, if you're someone who gets them all the time, do not dismiss them. Please, 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 I can't stress it enough a uh, hundred times over, like, please write these down because what you'll start to see is that not only do these dreams have meaning, but they'll start to manifest, not necessarily the way that, you know, from a natural standpoint uh, of your mindset. So like with the, um, so like the one I had with the three sidewalk squares and the check for $5,000, that was a literal, literal um, dream. Like it meant exactly what it meant me. But then there was another dream where um, I was getting ready to have birth to this uh, uh, almost 10 pound um, I'm sorry almost 15 pound baby and I knew that um, it, it was birthing out ministry now that wasn't a literal one but it was a, a one that could have easily been taken for um, being literal you know what I mean that oh I'm about to give birth to a big baby no it didn't mean that it, it meant that I was giving birth to something else which was the ministry which was no scarlet woman and even though it was functioning it was almost like God was telling me that he's taking it to another level and because of that he wanted me to be fully prepared and fully aware another thing dreams um, sometimes you may have a dream of snakes or uh, multiple snakes around you sometimes it can mean the character of the people that are around you foxes same thing it can mean that someone's um, around you you that is very 
um, kind of sneaky and sly and you know just underhanded something that you may miss um, dogs chasing you now you can google these things and they will give you many many interpretations right of what this mean and what that mean um, also one thing I want to point out and I don't I, I believe this may be for someone way down the line but one thing I want to also point out is that if you have someone coming to you from the dead that is not of God um, those are what we what are called familiar spirits so just be mindful of that now they can occur in your dream and you have to remember what that person means to you so like a lot of times when I have dreams and my mom my mom is by the grace of God still living and I praise him for that she um, she represents peace for me she represents a, a security for me so after a while of knowing these things you'll um, start to develop some type of interpretation or he will align you with someone who has a level of interpretation to interpret these dreams so God has been giving a lot more people dreams and honestly that's how a lot more people have been coming to Christ and converting to Christianity especially in the Muslim culture because he's been revealing himself and making himself known Known to these people and um, with dreams it's so important that you write them down because they you know a lot of times they are warning they they are warning or they are confirmations or comfort like hey this is you know um, with the one that I got I could have been completely stressed those next three days but instead of being stressed he get he provided an answer you know what I mean so it's very important that we pay attention to these dreams we just allow ourselves to be vulnerable and have him now here's the thing you have there are dreams that you have that um, God gives and then there's dreams that the enemy tries to give as well and a lot of times those dreams are typically black and white or they're faded color or they're very like um, like snowy and and they're not vivid when God gives a dream a lot of time they're they're very very vivid they're very they're very colorful um, you can recognize them so I just want to encourage you guys I wish I had a lot more time to go into this but I believe for whoever this is for or the people that this is for this is going to be enough to kind of get you engaged in writing down these dreams so that you will be able to see them as they start and know that God is the one who's actually giving them to you um, I also want to uh, encourage you to, if you are someone who frequently have dreams, to go ahead and ask God to send you interpretation. And then he may just give it to you or he may send a stranger or he may say, go to this person or someone may come to you. Now, a lot of people say that if God gave the interpretation to someone, he will send them to you. Not necessarily. There have been times where I've gone to people and God is like, tell them this is what their dream meant that I did not know, right? And then there's time that people will come to to me and ask me about a dream and God will give the revelation because revelation belongs to God. So I pray that you not take these dreams for granted, that you realize that um, it is a gift. It's a lot of times a warning, um, correction and comfort for you and what's to come and revealing um, what he's saying. So last night, um, you know, I had a uh, a dream and I had asked the Lord was he really going to do something and in the dream I saw myself unwrapping um, the gift now I, I know it's, I'm try I try to keep these videos under 10 minutes because you lose people attention and I don't care um, I'm not trying to get like money and followers I just want people to get this knowledge and this wisdom so that they can operate in the fullness of God so they can know what God is saying to them so I just pray that you guys be encouraged um, and also you know I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm available if you guys want to shoot an email and say, hey, this is the dream I had. If I know it, like if God give it to me, I will release it. If he says, um, if he says nothing to me, I'll be like, hey, I'm not getting anything. And just because someone's not getting anything about your dream does not mean that it is not sufficient. It doesn't mean that it's not accurate. It just means that the interpretation is in the hand of somebody else. So I pray that you guys be blessed this Friday. Um, for those who are in the area, it is um, tax, um, it's the tax holiday. So make Make sure you go and get whatever you need to get if you have um, kids. And just be blessed, you guys. Bye-bye.